the crustal foundations of northwest Britain, the Louisian complex, and this is its oldest part, in what geologists call the central block. Some call it the Scoury block, named after this Sutherland village. And the rocks here record crustal formation back to around 3 billion years ago. We can try to unravel the geology of crustal formation in outcrops out on the coast. These are some of the oldest rocks in Britain and they're a great place to see how the continental crust is formed by multiple igneous intrusive events plus the metamorphism that goes along with that. So let's go and have a look right over there, over that next hill. So we're out here on this peninsula south of Scoury Bay. So that's where we're heading over to those rocks over at the far headland. Our first rock type here are these grey gneisses with folds and dismembered rafts of mafic material. These are classic examples of tonalite trondramite granodiorite, that's TTG gneisses, the building blocks of Archean continental crust the world over. They're deformed plutonic rocks intruded into each other, perhaps at some ancient subduction zone, some three billion years ago. But there's some spectacular other rock types here as well. The pinkish colour here is due to lots of crystals of garnet. Some of them are quite big. And there are streaks of orthopyroxene and lots of plagioclase. These are mafic granulites, metamorphosed basic igneous rocks. And we can use their mineral assemblages to tell us something about the conditions under which they were metamorphosed. Quite a long time ago now, Hugh Rotherson did exactly this and found that these rocks record a peak temperature of around 820 degrees centigrade and peak pressures of around 11 kilobars which equates to having once been at a depth of around 30 kilometers. Cross-cutting these rocks are pegmatites. These big patches of colour are actually individual crystals. So we can see things in outcrop that normally we'd only see down a microscope, like graphic texture. These quartz bands are growing along the crystallographic cleavage planes in feldspar. Really stunning. Well, this is neat because we've got the contact between the pegmatite and the country rock pyroxenites really speckledy black rocks. But if we look really carefully, there's this contact zone here about the width of my finger where the pyroxenite's been altered into sort of an epidotic crud. So there's a retrogressive reaction here, metamorphic reaction, that takes our pyroxenite and hydrates it and makes it into this epidote material here along the contact. So this is neat because it tells us that the country rocks around here 
were a bit cooler than peak metamorphism. So that when the prototype comes in with its fluids, it could retrogress the pyroxenite into this epitetic material in here. So relatively cooler conditions when the pegmatite was intruded. So for all the gneisses to have been intruded by those pegmatites, the gneisses were up at mid-crustal levels, and then they're intruded by yet another suite of igneous rocks. We see these on the map as these green stripes. They're called the scary dikes, and we can find examples down in the TGG gneisses by the sea. So these are the main gneisses here. You can see the banding really quite prominent coming across here. But then you go into this stuff. And this is what well, almost looks like a dolerite, a mafic intrusion that cross cuts the banding in the gneisses. So we've got nice formation, all that deformation that we've seen in these TTG gneisses cross cut by well, an undeformed maybe meta dolerite dike. But there are smaller examples of scary dikes too. But unfortunately, this one has been sampled by rock drilling. It's a truly grotesque practice that defaces outcrops and is actually illegal in sites of special scientific interest like this. But this tiny scary dike can be traced up out of the sea and into this heathery slot and it crosses the pegmatites. So actually the scary dikes are the youngest intrusions here. But they're not that young. Collectively the scary dike swarm intruded between 2000 and 2400 million years ago and the ones around scary are probably the oldest set. They indicate an early attempt to split the ancient continental crust. Weak rifting and dike intrusion. So our short visit to the Scarry area is a brief introduction to the complex arrangement of magmatism, metamorphism and deformation that show how the crust was formed along with the tectonics of burial, exhumation and rifting. And all this started with initial crustal formation around 3 billion years ago. The metamorphism to granulite fascias we now think happened around something like 2,650 million years ago. Perhaps was closely followed by cooling and exhumation as charted by the pegmatites. And then around 2,400 million years ago, the intrusion of the scary dikes. So, hundreds of millions of years of geological history that makes up the foundations of Northwest Scotland.